I, Fatmata Jalu Tambajan, having been appointed as Vice President and Minister for Women's Affairs of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear. Fatumata Jalo Tambajang took the three out of office, Secretary and Allegiance, officially confirming her appointment to a post she has been overseen for 11 months. She was first appointed as Vice President, but had to wait for an amendment of the age limit in the Constitution, which barred persons above the age of 60 from holding the post. Mrs. Jalo Tambajang played a pivotal role in bringing the different political forces into a coalition that won the 2016 presidential elections. Her strong and unbending belief in freedom, justice and democracy made her a turn in the flesh of the former regime and won her the trust and confidence of the political leaders she worked hard to bring together. Therefore, it was no coincidence that President Barrow chose her as his deputy despite some calls to dispense with her. The President underscored this message once again reaffirming her confidence in the woman who has already proven herself to be highly effective and professional. Mrs. Fatma Rajalo Tambajang is a strong professional woman of sound character and integrity with vast wealth of experience. She has brought to cabinet a wide range of skills and that are highly required for social reconstruction and rebuilding of the economy after years of divisive rule and mismanagement by the former government. I have full confidence in and strongly believe that the lady sworn in today will undoubtedly support the presidency and perform her assigned role as vice president accordingly. For the vice president, the journey to the president has been a tough and challenging one marred by political repression and alienation. But according to her, it now offers opportunities for Gambians to work together to reclaim their place amongst nations of the world and she is determined more than ever to help actualize this dream. As the Vice President of this great nation, a great task awaits me. But having performed well in the interests of our country under your leadership during the past 11 months has deepened my knowledge and strengthened my capacity to deliver the task more efficiently. Specifically, I have come to learn that with great challenge that comes on my desk, my strive to direct things as they should serve us. I am more than ever determined to work harder and smarter than I have ever done in my life. She also pledged to repair the President's trust in her, fully conscious of the weight of public expectation that weighs so heavily on the administration. But having placed the country firmly on the path of democracy and reform, Mrs. Jalo Tambajang said she will continue to play that elderly role that has come to characterize her since she re-emerged into the political life of the country. My aspiration for this nation is to provide all the required support to you, Your Excellency Adama Barrow, for you to realize your national development objectives that are anchored in democratic principles and values ranging from constitutional, security, justice, economic and social justice. Mrs. Fatima Rajala Tambajang is one of the architects of the ruling coalition, having distinguished herself as a fearless advocate of change during trying times. She once served as a minister under the military junta of former President Yaya Jame before parting ways and later joining the United Nations. As we are into the post, closes a chapter in the debate surrounding the vice presidency, a debate that has been raging on for close to a year. Mamoru Jalo, GRTS News.